Hello everyone, welcome back. Firstly, I want to apologize for not uploading for a long time. Well, you see, my editor went on strike and, well, she... I fired her. So, all this drawing is, yeah, by my own hand. Sun Wu, commonly known as Sun Zi, or in Western society, Sun Zhu, is the proud author of the art of war. It is regarded as the Bible of War and plays a huge role in military history and had influenced many many military leaders such as the Japanese feudal lord Takeda Shingen, the Khan officers and it is a recommended read for all US military intelligence personnel. The art of war can also be applied in the world of business. Believe it or not, Sun Wu's art of war were actually written before his military conquest had even started. Sun Wu's good friend Wu Zisu was a subject of the Wu King He Lu, who recommended the Wu King to use Sun Wu seven times before he finally agreed to meet this Sun Wu. He Lu was fascinated with Sun Wu and appointed him as general. He often discussed military and political problems with Sun Wu and he always received an answer that he was content with. Now, there was a legend that the Wu King didn't believe in Sun Wu's capability and so he asked Sun Wu to perform military formation with 180 palace maids. And well, at first the ladies hesitated, but after Sun Wu executing two of the maids, the rest of the ladies performed the formations without flaws. In 508 BC, the Wu King adopted Sun Wu's strategy of destroying enemy alliances. The Wu state encouraged a small tiny state called Tong state to betray the Chu state. Sun Wu then sent men to tell the Chu king if the Chu state pretend to attack the Wu state, the Wu state will be scared and will attack the Tong state. By then, the Chu state can go in and claim all the victory from the tired Wu state. Well, the Wu state did take over the Tong state and along with that the Chu state also lost chunks of its territory. Prince Fan was also captured and this shocked the neighboring states. Two years later, Sun Wu recommended the king to use the Chu army's supplies after winning battles and then they can continue battling leaving no needs for a supply line. With only 30,000 men, the Wu state defeated 200,000 Chu soldiers, taking over the Chu state's capital. But the Wu king grew arrogant and assaulted the Chu queen, while Wu Zisu dug up graves and flogged the corpses of his nemesis to avenge his deceased parents. He Lu also stopped listening to Sun Wu and with the Qin state supporting the Chu, the Wu army was finally pushed back. The year 496 BC, Wu King He Lu died while attacking the Yue state. His son Fu Che assumed the throne and swore to take revenge. Two years later, Yue King Gou Jian decided to take initiative and attack the Wu state. Sun Wu knew this was gonna happen and so set up many fake armies. The Yue troops were far deep in enemy territory and after seeing the many flags surrounding them, fear took over and they instantly lost. At last, the Yue state conceded, giving out the beauty Xi Shi while Gou Jian acted as a personal slave. Sun Wu knew that Gou Jian was an imminent threat and so asked his good friend Wu Zisu to encourage Fu Che to kill Gou Jian, but instead Wu Zisu was forced to suicide by his king after corrupted officials such as Bo Pi made up some stories. After his best friend's death, Sun Wu decided to retire and at last died of guilt. Now realistically, Sun Wu's achievements were not that impressive, considering that he was a psychic to Wu Zisu, and most of the time the Wu King had full command. But you cannot deny that the art of war has impacted the world greatly. Well that's all for today now, and I'll try and make another video, but it might take a bit longer.